Honorable uh, Coach Mr. Chairman raised uh, the issue of um, the CDF ruling that came on the 8th of uh, August. Quite an interesting uh, date for the, for the ruling to have come because I was reading it as I was driving to the village to go and vote the next day and it was a bombshell. Um, but I think um, consultations are ongoing. Uh, it is admit is agreed by many people that um, we, that what CDF has been able to achieve in this country is uh, phenomenal, and uh, I think we will be able we can be able to work on uh, around ways. Remember, there were some areas that uh, the the court the court uh, took issue with. One, the area of shareable revenue, so that uh, we can address that one as Parliament. Actually, Parliament can address that one by going through, look at what is provided for in Article 202, so that what is, so that CDF does not become part of that mechanism of sharing national revenue, so that uh, what what remains with the national government becomes the the place where CDF should be should be hyped, hyped, hyped off from. So I think if we, if we can consult on, on that area, I think we can, we can make the necessary adjustments. And it's unfortunate that uh, as a result, uh, no disbursements have been made so far. I think it's really an unfortunate situation. The other area which we need to address, uh, and in, I think this is within your powers uh, as members of parliament in the National Assembly, is what the courts went to great lengths to, ex to explain about service delivery. And I'm sure, um, Mr. Chairman, looking through these members, uh, these, these are fairly clever members. They, we can deal with that. This is something that uh, we can work on. Uh, and uh, I'll be available. I'll be available I, because I truly really feel that uh, CDF should uh, continue. The, on the issue of extrajudicial killings, Mr. Chairman, um, I think um, the, I would want to associate myself with the outrage that uh, he said as the president uh, you know, expressed uh, yesterday. I think being a country governed by the rule of law, we should never have a situation whereby you know, this is happening in our country. And um, from me, you can, uh, you can expect that um, we will be, you know, Address ad advising the relevant um, agencies uh, to 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 be on the lookout that uh, they, even this is a way of uh, actually burdening the taxpayer because uh, those who lose their loved ones through these uh, processes obviously end up suing the government. The government has no money of its own. That money comes from the the taxpayer, and I think we also need to revisit. And I want to make a plea to Parliament because I know you also make a lot of recommendations that we need, we need to bring back the, this issue of surcharge, that people, individuals must be surcharged when they, they do things which are outside of their official uh, responsibilities or duties that they are given to.